That was a tough one. It's a tough one you'd think for any team to come back from, but you guys bounce right back on the next drive. Right. Uh, you know, Jenkins makes a great play. Their crowd really got into it then. It was very noisy. You went right to the air, too, and then came down to Sterling Sharp again. Well, Sterling just makes a marvelous catch here, and Brett threw it in there. Uh, it was tight coverage, and that's the type of plays he's been making. I tell you, this was uh, the most exciting play of the game, George Teague. Well, if you catch me on the sidelines <laughs> right here, I'm yelling, faster, faster, <laughs> go. Did he listen? I guess he listened to you. Turned it on. Yeah. You got to go a little faster. That gave you a 21-17 lead, but then uh, the, this seesaw game all the way. Moore comes back with a five-yarder. Uh, he's a big, strong, good-looking running back, I think, and he piled it in there, and again, they got the lead now. We see how strong uh, Brett's arm is on this play, and it looked, you know, this is a tough throw. He's rolling right, and then he's trying to heave downfield. He sees Clayton open. You know, I didn't realize how open Mark was. I'm glad I didn't at the time. I would have felt bad, uh, worse about the throw. Uh, he, Brett was rolling to his right, and his body, his momentum was going so hard that when he threw it, the ball just moved right, and it was, uh, it was hard to keep that ball in bounds. Of course, we've saved the best for last, but Coach, tell me how strong Brett's arm is. is he got the strongest arm in the NFL? Well, he's got, he has one of them. He really can throw it hard. I think uh, he, he throws it too hard at times. Mm -hmm. In practice, you know, he has, and he will have to learn to make the different types of throws which he's working on. But uh, he makes some throws that not everyone can make, and this is one of them. Okay, let's go to upon further review. And this one, uh, you know, at the time I thought, well, they're getting in field goal position, and then this one happened. Well, he looked left. Actually, we had a, a, a square out phone called, and then Sterling adjusted the route to coverage, got behind everyone. And I didn't know how close he was to the back line. When Brett threw the ball, I'm just going, please. I, I hope it's not too far, you know, and then you, as usual, he gets a little exuberant there. <laughs> Joe, He's Joe never sends, tried to oh, jump on you, has he, Coach? No, I, in fact, I, I got after him a little bit right there. I wanted him off the field. I didn't want any penalties or something for celebrations or those crazy things to happen. What did you see as that play unfolded? Were you even looking to Sterling, or did you? Well, we called two plays in the huddle, and then the first play, we hit Sterling on a crossing route, got right back on the line of scrimmage, and really, Sterling wound up, Sterling and Mark wound up on different sides, not their normal sides because of how the first play had happened. And then we ran the second play, and it was a, a part of our two-minute offense, and they ran a coverage. Sterling adjusted his route. Brett moved, and their safeties moved. And when their safeties moved, he picked up Sterling behind everybody, and thank goodness, you know, it was a great a play. Of, a lot of people jumping out of their easy chairs on Saturday. When we come back, uh, special guest, Sterling Sharp, next on the microphone.